Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope everybody's having a blessed day, wonderful day, an amazing day. This one is hard. It's hard, it doesn't come up because it's a hard conversation for anybody to have. And what it is, is when it's time to quit, give up, stop. Um, the only point of reference I have to this is life insurance, which is in my first book. Well, actually, my second book, coffee, third book, Coffee and Cash. I have to remember the other ones. In Coffee and Cash, I talk about a life insurance salesman that wants to hand his business down to a younger man. And I wrote it because I wanted to write about life insurance. Life insurance is one of the most important things you ever have to buy. It is very important. I, of course, have it. I know I need it. My father sold it. And it's not a conversation that anybody wants to have because they believe it harbors death. And I think that's silly because buying life insurance, if anything, if you beat people to buy it, they're like, damn it, I wasted all this money for the past 20 years and they didn't die. If anything... It seems to put off death, which is funny and ironic. But the thing about talking about quitting, and the reason why I allude to life insurance about it, is that you think if you talk about quitting, that it's going to make you quit, and you're going to stop short before you succeed. Many, many, many books... Many true stories are about the people that almost give up, and just as they're about to give up, they find the solution. So we live in eternal fear that if we think we're going to quit, we're just about to make a breakthrough. And there are so many sayings, statements, beliefs, focuses on this thought. Now, the one thing uh, I'm going to allude to, and this is the conclusion and how I'm going to wind up, is that you quit when logic tells you to quit. It, I've never believed in gut. I've always said that gut is a made-up thing, made up by writers in the 40s and 50s to move their plot along. And it really doesn't exist. What does exist is truth and facts and logic. You're never right or wrong based on yourself. You're right or wrong based on the facts and the information you have. If you believe a cat is going to be pregnant and you keep on thinking that cat is going to be pregnant, and you're like, that cat's going to be pregnant, and then somebody tells you that cat is a male, you found out information you didn't know. And of course, that was not going to happen. But you didn't know it at the time. I use an extreme case so you can remember it. So you can realize it. Sometimes... There's information you don't have, you didn't receive, you didn't get, and you were not wrong because of yourself, you were wrong based on the lack of information you have. Many people start with really, really great ideas, but they cannot explain it in under two minutes. The one I think of the most, and they're not necessarily a failure, they're still a success, but they had a very major issue, which is one of the axioms in business, and that's TiVo, T-I-V-O. They were the first ones to introduce recording live television, which now everybody has. TiVo makes money out of the patents for it. Because they were the first ones to come up with it. They were the first ones to design it. The first ones to build it. They still sell them. People still buy them. And they are 
still a part, and they make a lot of money through the patents of this system where you record live television. The problem is, you could not explain this to anybody in other two sentences. They called it time shifting. Nobody understood what the heck time shifting meant. It was a great product, still a great product. It's a great feature, still a great feature. Still something a lot of people use, and we use it in our daily lives now without even thinking of it. It's so entrenched into our system. But when they came out with it, nobody understood what it was, and there was no way to explain this feature in under two minutes. So the business, as a household name, never became the success it could be, even though the feature, which we now use consistently in our lives these days, never gave TiVo the respect it was supposed to. And that's a problem sometimes you can't get. The reason why I, AI and artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence will never beat people 100% is not because the technology lacks. You can never be 100% certain what the public's going to want, do, or need. There will always be weird things that people will try to sell and buy but never be a complete success either because the salesman was bad, the product was bad, or the public did not understand the product. Bill Gates is the greatest salesman in the world. He sold home computers before they really became, and they're still not, I mean, they're a big deal, but I don't know the last time that anybody watching this would use an Excel sheet <laughs> beyond their business scope to a bunch of people that couldn't program their VCR clock. And that's the truth. Now, back to what I was saying. When do you give up? When do you stop a project that you're trying to do? When is it time to move on? When logic tells you. You have to keep focus on why you started the project in the first place. Was it to make money? Well, you can make money in a nine to five job. And I've already proven again and again in my other videos that you can come rich beyond your income through investing and saving and not buying what you don't need. I've proven it. Other people have proven it. It's a fact. Even though you're working a 9 to 5 job, you still have the opportunity to become rich. And it does work. It works slowly. It's meticulous. And it's not easy. But it can be done. And probably a lot easier than if you're killing yourself to do something else. It's the first thing. Is it to make you happy? Well, are you really becoming happy by doing what you're doing? Because if you're still happy doing it, then don't quit. If it brings you joy, you never quit. If the process is what's making you happy, if it's what's making you get up in the morning, if it's what it is, then you don't quit. Remember, it's when logic dictates you have to stop. If you're happy doing it, then you're getting your jobs done. Is it to impress other people? Then don't even start. You should have quit before. Because you should have never done anything to impress other people in the first place. The only person you had to impress was yourself. That was it. You're not on this planet to make other people happy. Mm. That's not your goal. That's not your objective. It never should have been. So you should quit right now. Mm. And do something else that makes you happy or makes you money. Either way. Is it to make your children better later in life? It's the job of a parent. Well, did you talk to your children about it? 
if they're old enough, if they're 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and you're saying, I'm doing all this to make your life better, talk to them and find out what it is that they want better. Under age of 12, they don't know. They're not going to know. But over that age, if you raise them right, they should have some sense. Talk to them about what they want, what they want to be, what they want to do. You'll gain a lot more from that. So again, when do you quit what you're doing, banging your head against the wall? Sometimes banging your head against the wall, you can get good ideas. I'm not going to knock it. Sometimes you do have to suffer for your art. Sometimes you do have to push further. But sometimes, when logic dictates, that's time to stop. And I'm not saying, stop the goal. I'm saying change the process. Change the method. If you're not getting anywhere closer to your goal, if you're not doing what you need to be done, if you're making yourself ill, it's time to stop and change. You don't have to suffer. That's not necessary. You do have to work. You do have to push. You do have to get up every day. But if you're crying at the end of every single day, something's not right with the method. Something's not right with the process. You got to change it. You can achieve this. Like I said, I'm not talking about giving up on the goal. I'm talking about changing the method to get to that goal. There's more than one way to travel. Find the best solution for you. Like I said, it can be done. And it will be done. But you just got to do some soul searching. Remember, download Atlas Earth. The only game that I found had money. Follow me on Twitter, Risky6877. If you like what I say and you like my videos, please follow me. I enjoy doing this. As long as I continue, I shall do it. And look at my book, Missing Treasure, Chris by Chris Alexinas, A-L-E-X-I-N-A-S. And my other book, Coffee and Cash, again, Chris Alexinas, A-L-E-X-I-N-A-S, on, on Amazon. Have a great day. Be blessed.